Installing the Windows 7 Beta might sound intimidating, especially when you have to factor in that for many users, a drive partition is required if you don't have a separate hard drive to boot from. Partitioning a drive that's already in use sounds tricky, but in fact, it's not very complicated at all. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for CNETDownload.com, and in this insider secret, I'll be taking you step by step through the install process for setting up a dual boot Windows machine. This will work for any operating system, but what we're talking about today is Windows 7 Beta. Ready to get your hands dirty? First off, download the Windows 7 Beta and burn it to a DVD or a 4 gig thumb drive. When Microsoft gives you your serial number, write it down. Now, your next step depends on your current Windows operating system. If you're using Vista, you have a built-in partition manager, so you may want to skip ahead for the Vista instructions. If you're using XP or earlier, go to download.com and grab the ASUS Partition Manager. That's spelled E-A-S-E-U-S. -E it's a free partitioning program. Start it and click the drive you want to partition, then hit the resize button. The colored portion of the bar is your existing data, and it should be on the left side. The right side should be gray. Drag the slider to shrink your C drive, keeping an eye on the size of the new partition. 16 gigabytes is the minimum recommended for Windows 7. Hit OK, and you'll have just resized your C drive. Hit Create to change that partition into a usable drive space. Give the volume a name you'll recognize, click Apply, and you're good to go. Vista users don't need a separate partitioning program since that feature has been baked in. There are several ways to access the feature, but the quickest is to go to your Start menu. Right-click on Computer. You might be asked for credentials before continuing. In the left pane, go to Storage and then Disk Management. Right-click again on the partition you want to change, and then choose Shrink Volume. You want to create a space that's big enough for Windows 7. That's around 16 gigs. Create a new simple volume in the free space. Label it something sensible, and we're ready for the fun stuff. Put the Windows 7 disk in, but don't let it install. If you install it now, it'll wipe out your current C drive and you'll probably blame me. Nobody wants that. Your drive's partitioned, your Windows 7 beta disk is ready to go, so now you just need to reboot your computer. The Windows 7 installation screen will pop up. Choose Install Now, then Custom. This will allow you to choose which drive gets the new operating system. The next page, where do you want to install Windows, allows you to choose the partition. Make sure you select your new empty partition, then hit Next. Enter a username, a password, and then your serial number. The following options concern the network you're on and can be adjusted later. That should bring you right into Windows 7 Beta. The whole installation process should take about an hour from start to finish, although I've heard of some people going from 0 to 7 in a quarter of that. Oh, and if you're curious about the new features in Windows 7, we've got a first look video to get you started on that too, as well as a couple of quick tips. If you'd like to switch back to your original operating system, simply reboot and you'll be presented with the option to switch operating systems during the boot cycle. Good luck with your new dual boot and Windows 7 adventure. For Download.com, I'm Seth Rosenblatt.